7.35 a.m. And uh, Guru, good morning. Good morning, Ken. Uh We have to start with some really somber news and really tragic news. Uh, this is usually not the type of topic that we usually discuss on this segment, Guru, but the news has been filled with the terrible event which occurred in Florida, another school shooting that left 17 students dead. Uh, President Trump seems determined to make changes to try to protect our children. A lot of ideas are being thrown around, and of course, the left is calling for more gun control. Guru, is gun control the answer? What can be done to stop these mass shootings in our schools? King, this is a really tough issue. What's going on with these mass shootings is insane, and we need to find a solution, and we, knew, and we need to do it quickly. I mean, everybody wants to fix this problem, but we don't all agree on what the best way may be to do it. And I fear that we could end up doing nothing because there won't be enough compromise on each side in order to get something done. Now, from my perspective, I don't believe the answer is taking away guns from people who are mentally capable and have complied with all the laws for gun ownership. Um, look, after all, you need a good guy with a gun to stop a bad guy with a gun. That's the bottom line. Whether that good guy is a citizen or a law enforcement officer, there's got to be someone that's the equivalent to, to stop these things when they're happening. So uh, banning guns isn't going to stop bad people from, from getting them. We, we need something uh, that is going to stop the bad people from getting guns. And the ban across the board only means that law-abiding citizens are going to comply. Criminals never do. So we need to keep that in mind. And uh, the, the president seems to be taking this matter very seriously, and he wants to implement some things to address the situation. And here are four things that, that he has said. He wants stronger background checks. He wants to raise the age to buying firearms to 21. He wants to end the sale of bump stocks, which is a mechanism which turns a semi-automatic rifle into an automatic rifle. And he also wants to allow teachers to be armed. Now, this is just the start of what hopefully is going to be a productive process to finding what I believe needs to be a multi-pronged solution. Of course, the, the, contribution, the controversial part of what the president said relates to arming teachers. Now, he didn't say he wanted to arm all teachers. He said he wanted to have some teachers to be trained and to be able to uh, handle firearms so that we don't have people in the schools literally just sitting there as uh, sitting ducks. So, so keep in mind that the president is a counterpuncher. Uh, that's always been his style. So when something happens, he likes to hit back harder. This is an example. He wants people to know or, or potential uh, mass shooters out there that if you're going to try this in the schools, obviously the first step is we're going to try to stop them from getting in the schools. But if they do get in the school, they're going to be met with firepower as quickly as possible. So, of course, the teachers' unions are against this, and even certain people in law enforcement don't want this. But there's already seven or eight states that allow teachers to be armed. And I personally don't think it's a terrible idea. I think it's something that needs to be considered. I think there's a lot to it. It's not just handing out guns to teachers. I know if I were a teacher, King, and I was willing to go through the training, I wouldn't mind being able to have a firearm to protect myself and to protect the students of the school. So uh, I, I think all these ideas need to be considered. I don't think that we need to get extreme with it. And in the end, more than anything else, King, we can't allow this to become a partisan issue with a partisan solution. We need everybody to come together to work on a solution because that's what it's going to take.